profit. I can't let them take it. So I got to like, and this payment on this, this son of a bitch is a lot, but I got to, it's, it's, it's a nest egg now. Now it's my retirement. So like if the market starts crashing, I'm, I'm going to sell the hell out of it. But right now I got to stay and I got a 2.25 from the VA. So how do I get out of it? I, I, I can't let the IRS take this. Yeah, so I, I think they, that's how I they got to they, pay. They, they snake you in as they give you so they can take yeah. it away. That, that, that sounds yeah, right if I was familiar. single, I would be with you. Well, think about it. If, if it's like county, I don't want to go to county, but if they're like, yeah, you're going to federal prison. And I'm like, and if it's like it is in the movies, I'd be like, TV, food, I, fucking uh, climate controlled prison. place. You know what what do, do I care anymore? In jail? I'm not a cop you know anymore. Cops in jail. I'm not a cop anymore. Yeah, you used to be a cop. I'm yeah, sure I'm a cop who, who hates shitty fucking cops. So, yeah, I know. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, I, I'll bail your ass out. I'll help you. I, I, you know, if it gets too bad, we'll, we'll come together and figure it out. I got a good attack lawyer, so they're pretty, they're pretty good at what they do. Um, yeah. We have so much to talk about. I'll let you oh. do the direction. Oh my God, do we want to talk about the cops that were shot and killed in, in uh, New York, or do we want to talk about... Uh, we can do that. We got we got to do the Trump case too because I got a video that I that I, I want you to. We can play start there. Mind. We uh, can start. We can start there. Yeah. You, um, I, I'm gonna the, send it to you. Is right that now. the one that I posted on Instagram of you? Uh, this one was just done today. Yeah, so you, I, I today, shared yeah. one of your things from Instagram. Yeah, if you don't mind, no, uh, I, don't I think that one. You it, don't pay attention when I share your shit, minute. dude. Where, where did it go? I did. Dude, shoot. I've been listen. I have been hopping. I had a I had Hayden's play for Beauty and the Beast and then Ethan's uh, first ball game. So. I, I I've been busy. There so, there's a lot we we'll talk about, um, and we also we have to talk about uh, the bishop being stabbed during his service, which was just is, is, is insane. All right, uh, let's play this. Uh, I'm gonna put it up on the screen here so everybody could see. And this is over on the Dumb Show, the D U M S H O W, over on Instagram. If you're not following, you're a communist. There it is. What's going on, Donut Friendly Nation? Matthew Spear from the Donut Friendly Show. Today, Donald Trump's criminal trial has begun, and all the usual suspects are there. Well, except for Michael Avenatti, he's in prison. But the other one, Stormy Daniels, after writing a letter in 2018 saying she wasn't bribed and she didn't have an affair with Trump, backpedaled, and of course, now she says she did not mean it. Well, then you also got Michael Cohen, not this wonderful guy. Not only is Donald Trump not a racist, he believes that all people are part of one race, the human Sounds race. Sounds very honest to me. I'm sure that testimony is really going to change a lot of hearts and minds, but you're not going to have to because it's in the borough of Manhattan, where in 2010, only 10% of the people voted for Donald Trump. I guess it's much more fair in 2020, where 12% voted. Of course, this is all ridiculous since Alvin Bragg took misdemeanor charges, which would be a fine and a slap on the wrist, and turned it into felonies after they expired. What's going on, Donut Friendly Nation? See, Matthew Spear from the Donut Here's Fremmy. another thing. I'm so tired of this two-tiered system of justice, right? And the people do not understand. Yeah. I don't care how much you don't like Trump. What, what Bragg did will trickle down all the way to you on some level. People, they only pay attention to, the, like, the big three, New York, Chicago, L.A., and they based all their police experience on that. Oh, that's what cops are like, this and that shit. They don't know that the town of, like, 3,000 people in somewhereville, Nebraska, or even in Illinois, wherever it is, they've got a shit-ass law enforcement group that can go to their state or district attorney and say, yeah. Uh, no, you know what? I will give a specific example. In 2002, no, 2003, I was on day shift. Wanted to work days. My sergeant comes to me and says, here, go take this report. Over on uh, 123 Main Street, the, the police fire commissioner and his wife, they were on the board, their neighbor is doing uh, renovations to his yard. Long of the short of the story is, here's guy at, at House A, and when he's not doing construction work, he comes home, he put in a cobblestone driveway, he was digging post holes to put up a six-foot wooden privacy fence, and in the process of doing that, he was grabbing their chain link uh, uh, fence, pulling it up, digging the holes, and putting it back. The chain link fence was probably 40 years old, rusted, uh, coming up out of the ground, looks like shit. Because this guy, Ralph Unrath was his name, I don't even know if he's still alive, because he had juice with the town, I had to go interview this guy and then go to the fucking state's attorney and try to get a warrant for criminal damage to property. At their 
this, the the the, uh, the on call state attorney looks at me and agrees. Goes, there's no damage to this property. I got pictures and everything. I go, yeah, I, I agree with it. Go back, <coughs> write the report and say, sorry, there's nothing here. Two days later, I need you to go back and ask for it again. Rewrite your report. Go back and ask for it again. Like, are you out of your fucking mind? I went back. <laughs> I begged the state's attorney. They are pressuring me to arrest this man. Please do not approve my fucking warrant. And they didn't. That's is that abu- is that abuse of police power? Yeah. Happens course. all the fucking time. So if you if you're gonna be so focused on, oh, I want Trump to go to jail, it's gonna happen to you. It's going to happen to you. That's like whatever. Right. Well, it, it just it's just it, this is such a fucking complete circus and a and a just a show. Um and, and the reason why is <clears throat> Bragg turned down these the ability to go ahead and try these back in 16 and 17 and walked away from it. State's attorneys also were like, we're not touching us with a 10 foot pole. If we do, we're going to open up the entire, we just did a, a, an article on, on news dot, uh, or the dumb news.com. And there's a slush fund for Congress and Senate that nobody knows about your tax dollars. Um, and there is a slush fund that goes into a kitty uh, every single time we balance the budget or we go ahead and um, kick the can down the road that pays for any allegations of impropriety, like extramarital affairs, uh, maybe a few drunk driving charges. Fucking ridiculous. None of this is going to stick. And then look who your witnesses are. You got Michael Avenatti, who's in prison for, for blackmailing Nike. Uh, you got Stormy Daniels, who's a whore. I, I, I'm sorry. I, it, it's It's not says the negative she she no, I, I never money, so i never enjoyed her work i never enjoyed her work i i i don't I, you know whatever but i'm sure trump did but then you got her in 2017 18 putting out a letter that says no no he didn't he didn't he didn't bribe me and we never had sex and then when you go under oath and you get a payday for this from michael avenatti saying we're gonna get rich from this shit which they didn't they had to pay trump's lawyers fees twice which is just another nail in the coffin for this and then you got cohen who went to prison for making this payment. It's just fucking ridiculous, man. It's, Even if he did, who this is, cares? Th- well, this is, this is why this is the most dangerous time in the world to be a male. And every woman out there should be terrified of her husband's safety, her son's safety. So you have Stormy Daniels, who can't keep her, st- her story straight. You've got Dr. Mm. Christine Blasey Ford. You've got, who was the one? E. Jean Carroll. All of these Eugene women... Carroll, yeah who are, there is a zero shred of credibility in their word. And yeah, even though that uh, Blasey Ford wasn't directed towards Trump, uh, by proxy he was because uh, uh, they couldn't stand uh, him. So they attacked Kavanaugh. Oh, yeah, and that, and that chick was nuts. That, that's the point. It's literally coming to, well, it's, it's, there, was, there was an episode, and I, uh, every time I make this reference, you, you, I guarantee you'll understand well, what I'm talking about. Um, it was it was not Outer Limits, and it was not uh, Twilight Zone, but it was one of those type of things, and it was not um, Amazing Stories because it was way too dark to be that Stephen King production. Shit, that Stephen, was Stephen, my, that was my that was the one I was thinking. No, that was, no, stories. I'll tell you why. So a woman is attacked and she's like raped or something. Um, all I remember is the end scene where. Husband and her are driving in a car together. They're down the, driving down the street. She goes, there he is. That's him. That's him. And so the husband follows this guy into a parking garage. And he want, he gets behind him, strangles him, kills him. And then gets back in the car. And he's like, it's over. It's done. It's great. They continue to drive down the road. She goes, there he is. That's him. Points at another guy. That's him over there. That's, so the, the thing was is she was so traumatically fucked up that every guy out there was the attacker. And he killed an innocent man. That's what they're doing. So what they're doing? Does that refresh your memory? Oh, you remember that what I'm talking about? Uh, no, I'm, I'm doing the math in my head, and for some reason, it, it's not tales from the crypt. No, either. no, no. Um, yeah. Oh, fuck. I, I, I just look, I'll look it up. I gotta gosh, look. I I can't I can't remember what it is, man. Uh, no idea, no idea. But either way, let's just let's just assume that you know the story resonates because that's this is the real problem. Is okay, even if you are even if you hate Trump, and you hate him. Okay, let me let me rephrase this. Republicans and Democrats are the same people. When it comes to them rooting for their sports team, right? The elephant or the donkey. And 
it, okay, so so give me a, let's give an example. Joe Biden tells Afghanistan that there he's going to pull air support and pull intelligence apparatuses that are providing uh, satellite logistics, troop movements, et cetera, et cetera, early warning systems. If Afghanistan doesn't do A, B, C, and D exactly the way Joe Biden wants, well, that's quid pro quo. You're telling the president of Afghanistan, you either do this or I'm going to hold this from you. That's quid pro quo. Donald Trump, in a non-recorded phone call that was paraphrased, written down, because nobody transcribed it live, it was from memory, he goes ahead and tells Ukraine, listen, I'm all about you getting to the UN, but you got to stop the corruption, the money laundering, the oligarchs, everything else. And in order for you to do that, you've also got to go ahead and address the corruption right now. If we're going to keep sending you money, when it even comes to Joe Biden, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, we expect an answer on this because this is a huge deal, this Shokin deal, right? And and the fired prosecutor and Biden saying it live on TV that he was going to withhold a was billion done about dollars. It. This is yep. un- right. And guess what? It's the exact same thing, but they don't care. So it comes down to this. It's not about law. It's not about order. It's not about who's right, who's wrong, whether Stormy Daniels is a victim or whether Donald Trump's a victim. It comes down to how do we fuck the opponent as hard and often as possible so we get an endorphin hit because our lives are so fucking miserable that we have to go ahead and ambulance chase a person to failure. And that somehow as a society uh, excites us. I'll never understand this. What is Hunter Biden going to jail going to do for anybody? How is that going to make you uh, your food costs go down? How's it going to make your taxes any better? How's it going to secure this country? How's it going to keep us out of World War III? I don't give a fuck about any of this. I want Joe Biden out. And, and these other people want Joe Biden to go to jail. And, and, and they're two very different things. They think that by him going to jail, all of a sudden, it's going to atone for uh, all of their troubles in life. It's like, I don't yeah. understand that. And even if you get Biden out, Biden, I, I, I am blown away. I, I do not pay attention enough to whatever conflict is going over in the Middle East. Apparently now Iran is attacking uh, Israel. I, I, My dad and I were outside smoking a cigar yesterday. I'm like, holy shit, there is not one, like you cannot dip your toe anywhere without it getting covered in shit. If you're trying to have a good day and you open up your, uh, your phone, you're like, oh, Israel and Iran now, shit, whatever. You scroll a little bit more. Oh, these transgender. You scroll a little bit more. Oh, the southern border. You scroll up a little more. Oh, fucking bite. You are in a nonstop heightened state yeah, yeah. Of, of like adrenaline dump and fucking cortisol levels. It's insane. Um, yeah. Look, look, case in point today, you have people who are blocking the, 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 the cars from getting off of I-90. O'Hare Air- Airport right. is literally 15 minutes down the road from me. Fucking people. So it's backed up. To do what? And Chicago police are sitting in their squads, not doing a fucking thing. Now, that's what irritates me. Nope. But then again, too, why right. should it irritate me? Because I'm not going to the airport today. I am tomorrow. That's what fucking sucks. But well, I'm not going today. It should, because because that's that's a real-life shadow that's going to cast upon you, right? There are things you should be worried about. You, you Listen, everybody was worried about Iran and Israel. This People just need to understand what posturing is, and... Only thing Iran's doing is is saber rattling. I know everyone's like, dude, they sent two hundred drones and and you know ballistic missiles and and cruise. Yeah, but you, they also telegraphed it for a week, right? It was the best kept secret in the world that Iran was going to strike them. Fuck, I knew seven days ago. So uh, it, it's ridiculous. It, some sometimes Iran has to save face. They did it with Soleimani uh, when Trump uh, took him out, and and this is the exact same thing. But. You still, you still should care, right? You don't necessarily need to care about the war itself and the values of, of Israel, the values of Iranians. But but you should care because ultimately, especially if you're a Christian, uh, that's that's where the fucking end of days takes place. Oh, that, so but that's what we want. Care. Yeah, I and, care because we want it. Like, bring it, daddy. Well, fuck. Some people want <laughs> Some of us who who still aren't 100% there yet, can we wait a few years until I'm I'm back in fold because uh, I'm the sheep that left the flock. I'm so glad I'm by O'Hare because if Putin hits the nuke button, it is like, you've, oh, it's yeah. Terminator yeah. 2. I'm going to be Linda Hamilton yeah. up against the fence, but instead yeah, of like, too. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be like, yeah, oh, I'm going to be so excited. Yeah, that, that that fence has a lower burn Fuck. rate than you do. But but oh, anyway, uh, God, that fence that fence would have been gone. Yeah, it fucking movies. But the, the thing that's interesting is that I'm, uh, listen, I'm screwed because I'm on Mount Pleasant. So like I, I've got uh, I've got essentially underground Washington 2.0 over my shoulder, literally. Like okay. I, I've got helos coming all the all the way to uh, 
to, to Mount, it's Mount, Mount Weather, no, Mount Pleasant. So anyway, so you, you see them and they do sorties all the time. They're basically executing drills of evacuating Washington by air and they bring them to this, this mountain. So I'm going to get hit there. I got the Pentagon. I got the CIA. I got the FBI. I've got naval bases. I am so lit up like a Christmas tree. There's, I, I, and I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to get some scotch. I'm going to get a cigar and yes. sit on the porch and have them kiss my ass. A hundred, dude, that's it. Yes. That's the, that's the mentality. I'm speaking of religions. Let's piss people off today. Me. I will piss people off. <sighs> Matthew's just happened to join okay. me is what it is. A TikTok yeah. famous Australian bishop was stabbed multiple times and two others were injured during his sermon Monday night in an attack that just came days after six people were stabbed to death at a nearby mall. What is with you savages and your fucking stabbing? I mean, you know, can't you just shoot people like normal deranged white kids in a school? What the fuck is wrong with <laughs> you guys? Uh, send your angry emails to Chelsea at uh, <laughs> Spreely.com. Uh, footage posted online on Monday shows that Bishop, Bishop Mar Mari Emanuel was speaking at uh, well, well, Lakey's Christ's Good uh, Shepherd Church at the Assyrian Orthodox Church when an identified man in a black hoodie confronts him. The bishop, bishop appears to talk to him. No, he didn't talk to him. It didn't look like he fucking... Wait, he was no in time. a black hoodie? Did he have Skittles? What? Taste the rainbow? <laughs> uh, we dude, have we have Trayvon that video Mar Tra Tra Trayvon Martin, dude, Florida. When <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, that's fucking. Fantastic. I'm going way back. <laughs> Come fucking on, fantastic. Man. Hang on, I gotta play. I'm pulling this up now. Damn it, you just. Where is I can't find my fucking my my. Oh man, hey, you know, if all he did was just uh, no, I don't want that. It was it looks just, like I'm gonna piss people off. No, why should you? Well, I gotta piss anybody off. Here's here's a here's a photograph. I know I have the video. Um, well, I just pulled up so your what's screen. Bishop, what am I doing? What's the bishop wearing? Does he have a he has a he has a a scalp cap on? Oh, it's I'm so cap. fucking stupid. Hang on, I gotta pull this over here. We have the video. The time, it's recorded. What? Yeah, oh, I don't care about it. You know, people. The, the, this show has gone to shit the last uh, week because it's Mercury retrograde. Right. Here's uh, that's I'll, what I'm here. I know it was so bad. Like it would not. I couldn't join you on Tuesday. Oh, let's show. Here we go. Why are you not playing? Why? Why are we in the dark here? Do a refresh. No, it's not that. It's um. Oh, maybe if I turn it off here. There we go. I can turn it on. Here we go. Oh, man, you heard that shit. Yeah, I know. Oh. Somebody had said, like, the knife didn't open. I'll see if you... Now, you guess, you... a Muslim? Huh? Was he Muslim? Well, that's what people were saying. Okay, I don't see any... I don't see any blood, so that's a good thing. They said that the knife didn't really open because well, it was like a flip knife or whatever. Here is my view. That's okay. Here's my view is uh, now I I was one of those people. I'd be like, um, hey, Matt, yeah, we're all in a pig pile here. Put your forearm on the back of his neck and just keep pushing down until you hear a snap. Right. That, why can't we do that? Well, because you know why we can. Well, we could do it over there. Was it? Where was this, at? was this in the United States? No, Australia. Oh yeah, well you, you're gonna go to jail in Australia too because they're a bunch of fucking wankers. But <laughs> yeah, you, because you can't, you can't because uh, you're the one that's gonna go to prison. That guy in the United States, he's gonna get arrested. Yeah. Cops will give him a fucking high C fruit punch and a hot pocket, and then he's gonna be out on cashless bail, you know, in 27 different states. And not held accountable because of progressive DAs. In Australia, it's just as bad. Like Australia and Can you want to talk about Mercury retrograde? Canada and Australia are really about five to seven years ahead of the US in depreciation as far as values and overall, you know, country first mentality. Canada is going to hell in a handbasket. I mean, mm. it, it's literally just it's all about the 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 mob rule. It's democracy personified with a little bit of theocracy in it. Australia is is doing the exact same thing. And it's 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 crazy. So this guy's not going to see any time because what will happen is they're going to say, well, the knife didn't open. Therefore, we're going to go ahead and lower this down to assault or or you know attempted 
manslaughter. He'll spend what 13 months in the clink, if that, and then he's out and he's, he's gonna go and do it again. And he's gonna go fucking blow someplace up and clack off a vest. Yeah, it's uh, it's insane. I'm of course pissing off uh, people who practice Islam today, where I just put a simple post up that said, uh, Islam is of Satan. And my Instagram is unfollowed. How could you say that? And blah, 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 blah. Let me explain this for those. Now, I'm not <laughs> theologically trained very well. <clears throat> the Catholic Church is satanic. And I know that's going to upset a lot of you. But now let me explain this to be fair to both sides of the aisle who don't get this. If you put yeah, I'm your, sit down for this one. Yeah, it, this is education. If you put yourself <laughs> above the authority of the Word, which is the Bible, and Christ, he's the Word incarnate, he's God incarnate, 100% fully man, 100% fully God, is what it is. If you put your, like, my, um, where did I go? My uncle. Uh, I, so I was raised Roman Italian Catholic, went to eight years of Catholic grammar school. I wanted to be a priest till I was 15 and you know, whatever it's, it's, I just don't practice that anymore because if you believe in like the concept of purgatory, Catholics love to do this one. Well, when you die, you go to purgatory so that you can, you, you're, you're, you're cleansed of the rest of your, your sins through like the, the heat and the fire. And I'm like, wait a second. So what was the point of Christ dying on the fucking cross to begin with? If he said in his moment of death, it is finished and he paid for everybody's sins, why do you need to go to fucking purgatory? So that's whatever. The Catholic Church loves to do the whole, oh, you got to get the sacrament of the dying before you... But, so they put themselves above the Bible. They're satanic, period. End of story. When somebody, somebody put a comment up today saying, no, you don't get it. Islam tells us to turn away from Satan. I'm like, yeah. You just literally proved my point that it's satanic. I can say, right, if there's, if there's me and there's Matt and we're standing side by side and um, no, no, no. You're short. No, they're short. Okay, so there's, oh. there, there's Matt and there's, um, well, there's somebody else, whatever. And uh, Matt is telling you, I've got the proper ways to lose all the weight. Eat healthy, work out, get a lot of rest, this and that, blah, blah, blah. But there's a competing guy next to Matt who is like, no, man, all you got to do is take, you know, this pill and that pill, whatever. And, and I, I'm, I'm funding um, the guy who's doing the pill shit, right, whatever. And I'm like, fuck Matt. I don't want Matt's business to, to succeed. Well, if people go, all right, you know, is a, how can you support this guy, this and that, blah, blah. I, and I know I'm kind of stretching this analogy, but if I go, no, you're right. Don't follow this guy. Don't follow this guy. He's wrong. He's wrong. He's wrong. But I don't say what you should do is go follow Matt instead. I'm still only addressing half of the problem and I'm not trying to solve it. That's the fucking point about Islam is Satan is saying, yeah, don't, don't follow satanic works. Just don't do it. He's not saying, but what you should do is pick up your cross and acknowledge Christ as king. He's leaving that part out. So if you can't acknowledge that, it's satanic. Plus, well, not to much fact that Islam, they think Christ was a prophet. They don't think he was God. That's it. So fuck Islam. Fuck uh, Catholic Church. Israel is. And fuck a few Christians who are so hypocritical in the process. You don't know what you're doing. That's all I got to say about that. It's so Monday. you feel the same way about Judaism? If Yeah, because they deny... That, and I don't, well, I don't know why this is such a problem. I'm not telling people you're going to burn in hell. That's not my role. I can't stand that. I, I am so rooted in that my God is so fucking forgiving because I'm a piece of shit. The stuff I've done, I, I'm like, man, I am a horrible, horrible human being. So why should I believe that? Oh, I'm going to heaven because I accepted Christ and I'm so saved this and that. So you're going to tell me that Hillary Clinton can't be saved or Joe Biden or fucking Adolf Hitler on by by the power of my God, Adolf Hitler on his deathbed in Argentina could have said flat out, man, I Argentina. really, uh, I really <laughs> fucked up. I saw what you did there. Yeah, I know. I, saw what you did there. I should not have done that to those Jews. I, I repent. I accept Christ as my savior and king. I am repenting. By the way that our faith is, 100% Adolf Hitler could be in heaven today. So why would I say- Well, there's a, ca there's a caveat. There's a caveat. I'll, I'll hear your caveat it, it, out. But my point you, is, is you that- can, Okay, go ahead. You go. You my go point is, is, yes, is Ju Judaism, satanic. Catholic Church, satanic. Fucking Islam, satanic. 100%. Go ahead. All you. So 
I think I think that's that's a little bit of a of a misnomer when it comes to showing contrition is it, it's got to be real and in and, and just the words it, it I don't I struggle with organized religion in fact the things I've been through this is a whole another episode and this this episode would take a long time but it probably one of my most popular episodes is a one and a half million viewers is when I went through my experience with the organized Catholic church Mm -hmm. and being raped by a priest. And when I was very young age and, you know, I trust me, man, having some guy who gets on a podcast, do that. It, you know, who has like tried to live up to an image as a tough guy. It's kind of hard to do that, but it's, it's, um, it's not something that, you know, I, I would recommend everyone if you have that experience is to get it out, talk about it, whatever. But I've got my own problems with, with the churches. But I think it's really important to understand is that you can go confess to a priest and you can be completely full of shit. You can mm-hmm. go through the process of counting rosary and showing some sort of penance and uh, contrition. Uh, but if, if Lord and God and Jesus is truly king or Allah or Buddha or whatever else you want to believe, um, then we'd have to assume that that person's omnipotent. And if they're not, then they're not a god. And they certainly aren't worth worship. <laughs> So they would have the understanding if you were truly sincere and asking for forgiveness simply for a ticket to uh, paradise or uh, you you were truly showing contrition. I get no disagreement with that. I don't think. I have zero disagreement with I don't think Ted Bundy and Hitler and Richard Ramirez and, and, you know, could just simply ask for forgiveness. But this is where where I now, who come, are they, come they, from when it comes. Who are they to this asking thing. forgiveness from, though? That's that's my only point, right? You've seen the movie Contact. Yeah, it's like yeah, that's, very much that's, 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 that's just the greatest point. It's like I have no idea oh. how much you love your wife or your father, or your kids. You could tell me that's I right. love my wife and kids. I'm like, no, nah, nah, according to me, I don't. No, you know, you know, you don't. So there, that's my my only argument is that I what what if because I wasn't there what if Hitler was fucking bawling his eyes out in complete utter repentance behind closed doors he's like Eva would you stop fucking the German Shepherd for a second and come over here and repent with me what if he was like that and because we don't I just don't know that's my well, only thing here here's the question here's here's the here's the question that that I that I ask it is not asked or maybe more of a statement it, is I don't think it's uh, people who ask for forgiveness are forgiven simply because they ask for it. I, I think it's depend depends on your action of the sin and knowing the difference between right and wrong is, is imperative to this equation where do you know better about what you're doing? And if you embrace the sin and you celebrate the sin and you, uh, you, you take part in it, understanding the consequence of action, I would like to believe that, uh, there is no level of contrition that can truly make up for that. I think if somebody makes mistakes, I think if they do stupid things, that's that's baked in the pie because all men are sinners. We know this. But I think if you deny the actual ownership of the sin and and completely try to absolve yourself from it, I and there was no lesson learned from it, I would like to think that whatever you know deity is there, would would be able to to smell a lie like a fart in a car, but that's why I don't preach. And even though I am a sh- uh, the sheep who 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 went astray, it's not that I don't understand organized religion. Religion. I've read several Orthodox, Lutheran, Mormon. I've I fucking dived into the Necronomicon just from interest. Just Vajo, to what Viraja, yeah. <laughs> Cthulhu, man. But you've got to you, you got to understand is that it's the people who pretend and have a fallacy around their their overall faith. And that, I think, is one of the largest sins, are the people who pretend and collect money and who judge others and get all preachy, yet they don't have a soul that that is collectible. Or I think those are people who are of the, of the line of the Nephilim. I think that... Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Matthew, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, Matthew, that's the people who stab like fucking six kids in a daycare. I think those are the ones who have no soul. Uh, Matthew 20, yeah. Matthew 12. And again, I'm not biblically scholar at all, dude, right? I have struggled with this shit for fucking ever, and I still struggle with it. 
Uh, anyone and whoever speaks a word. So it's basically you could sin against the Father and be forgiven, sin against the Son and be forgiven. You sin against the Holy Spirit, you can't be forgiven. So I guess, and I'm not making excuse for the sin because the last thing I ever want to do, and oh God, I used to do this too, is like I used to sit there and be like, well, King Solomon had a thousand women, man, like 700 wives and 300 side pieces. That means I can fuck whoever I want. It's like, no, you're using the just of the Bible to justify your shit and whatever. But in that context, right. and I've had that clarified, is that um, true repentance and acceptance equals forgiveness. And that, except for denying, no, Jesus Christ is not God. If that's the sin against the Holy Spirit, but if you deny Christ as God, that's the sin that can't be forgiven. So you go ahead and you kill six million Jews. You 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 sit there and you think you were doing it for some uh, 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 righteous cleansing purpose of trying to keep the earth clear. Whatever. That's that's the size issue, right? That's a big, inter insurmountable sin. But I'm not God. So I can't forgive that because I'm like, I can't process process through my brain. I am fine with, and I like to think that, because this is the, the struggle part I have. I like to think that if I go to heaven, I'm going to be sitting right next to my fucking chief, who I think is the scum of the earth. And we're going to be eating dinner and I'm not going to have a problem with him. Because ultimately the way I look at it is my niece is four years old and she lost her shit yesterday because I had to straighten out the handlebars on her bike, which were reversed. My father put it together, and the fender was the wrong way. Took me three minutes to do. She lost her fucking Happens. shit. I can guarantee when she's in her 20s, she's not going to remember that issue, and it's not going to be a big thing to her. And so if you got four-year-old G who's losing her shit over it versus 24-year-old G is going to be like, what the fuck? Who cares? You took out a ratchet. You did it. I think that's what it is. I think we are the four-year-olds. And God is like, yeah, you don't understand the six million Jew thing. I do. That's why I forgive him because I'm God. You're not shut the fuck up. I offered you all the same forgiveness. So that's how I that's right. how I justify shit. I, I said this on my on my show yesterday. Every there's 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 two major points that I have on this. Is one is that Christianity is the only religion on the planet that leads with taking care of your fellow man above all else. And that's Christianity. Christianity's message is to love thy neighbor. It's to live the purest possible life you can have, a selfless life, a selfless existence of service to God and to man. There's there's no other religion like it on the planet. And, and you can look at every single one. All of them have issues. Now, you go back to the Old Testament, which is a lot of, of Judaism and Jewish writings, whether it's you can't touch you know the, the skin of an undead thing, or you can't plant crops side by side, or wear the same garments, or you can sell your children into slavery. And the Talmud has that in in Judaism, which also is extremely, you know. And then there's certain parts of, of of Muslim religion which you know preach killing of the infidel and murder and sacrificing virgins and all that other shit. Every religion has its batshit crazy moments. I mean, Catholics have Opus Day, and their general religion is fucking crazy. Catholics like get on your God. knees and let me stick this phallic Genuine. in your mouth and why don't you drink the blood of Christ uh -huh. and, and swallow me and I'm fuck dude. That, but that shit bothers me. But the second point, and this is to protect all religions in some way and put them all in the same category, is every single religion, no matter what religion it is, it, it can be Hindu, uh, promises you know reincarnation. You can talk about Buddhism, which talks about spiritual elevation. You you can talk about the Greeks. Uh, it doesn't matter whatever religion, Orthodox, Christian, Mormon, uh, Diamenics, whatever it is. L. Ron Hubbard. Religion pro yeah, L. Ron Hubbard promises uh, internal life if you follow A, B, C, and D. And it, and it tells you that immortality is not accomplished on earth. It's, it's not here. That this is simply a, a trial run. This is a, a place which will collect the souls of everybody at some point or another at end of times, or they won't, and they'll sit here for a thousand years uh, for one or for one religion. But we spend an awful lot of fucking time killing, murdering <sighs> in the name of God here yep. when none of this matters. And it baffles me that so many people are all about this. And they're like, the Jews are right, and the Iranians are right, the Muslims are right, the Kurds, the Shiites, the Sunnis, the, the Anglo-Saxons, the, the Persians. It, the Bolsheviks, and honestly, none of this fucking matters. 
if, if, if that's true, that we're going to some other, you know, paradise or eternal existence, then our actions here, we spend so much time worrying about, and it doesn't make much sense if you truly have faith. And that's where you got to question people and say, do you really believe? If you feel you need to kill your neighbor because they don't agree with you, why are you doing that? Yeah, that's if fucked that has up. nothing to do with eternal life. That's fucked up. That's, that's why I actively choose, like I, I say it all the time, I'm not a Christian. I cannot stand Christians. You will see, there's a great saying, there is no hate like Christian love. It's it. I can't stand people who actively know the piece of shit I am. And, oh, I love you, my brother in Christ. Shut the fuck up. You don't love me. You're in the comments section talking shit to me. And then you, you close out an argument with that passive aggressive, but I'll pray for you. Fuck you. I'll pray for you. I, yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and oh my God, some of the, but I, is that Christians, Dom? Is that yes, Christian? it is. Yes, is that really yes. They, well, babe, you get like the fucking Stu Peters, Morgan Ariel, who I can't stand either uh, one of them, who will yeah, flat Christians. out say, "I'm a well, they're lionesses for Christ, and they're all for Christ." And that shit. The, yeah. the considering the fact, I know that I am a miserable, fucked up human being. This is why I actively choose Christ. Is that like you had said, you look at the Old Testament and the shit dick ton of rules they have there. You can't fucking have your mat in your hand on this day of the week. You can't do this. The slam's got to be on no blemish, all this shit. That was the rules and the, the law, the law that they could not follow to get shit right. So Christ comes by, he pays the price, and now all of a sudden it's, hey, this is a new rule. The, the new law is literally, it was Ten Commandments, but the Ten Commandments, they're, you still got to follow them, and that's why they say that... Uh, uh, um, the new covenant, which is Christ, why, why they changed the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday is because it was not as important as the new covenant, which was accept me as your Lord and Savior, repent and love the enemy. That's it. That's fucking it. So if in Buddhism or uh, uh, Islam or anything else, there's all these works you have to do, and you will never be fucking good enough to get into them. Here's, here's my faith where my God's like, yeah, Accept me, uh, repent for the shit you're doing, which doesn't give you permission to do it. Trust me, I struggle with that all the fucking time. Don't do that to her again, but I want to. No, don't do it, man. Repent. No, fucking she has it coming. Do it to her again. All over her face. No, fuck. I, I repent like fucking crazy. But the point is, is here is the, it's the acknowledgement. And so many people have an ego problem admitting, I, there is not a fucking thing I can do to buy my way into heaven, I have to accept a gift. And a lot of us are real, real horrible gift acceptors. We can give it because it's like, hey, Matt, I'm going to give you this gift. Now I want you to give me all the accolades in the world because you gave it, I gave it to you. Come on, praise me. Go up online. Give a post. <laughs> Look who Dominic sent me. That's what we are. So it's a humility issue. And I, above all people, have a real big fucking problem for that. But all the other, all the other religions are lost. Follow this, do this. Here's your rule. Catholicism, fucking, oh my God, walk in, genuflect, sign of the cross before you get the Eucharist every Sunday, every three months, go ahead and go to confession, confess to a priest, blow, oh, sh oh my God, it's horrible. So I, I am not a fan of organized religion. Between, go ahead. There's a difference between religion and spirituality. Very much. And, and you don't need a church. You don't need a mega church. You don't need a guy dragging a cross or go see a life-size Noah's Ark to have a relationship with God. And I, 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 I'm not here to judge. L listen, even though I made a joke about Catholics and L. Ron Hubbard, I don't care. Believe whatever the fuck you want. We're, we're all on a different path, right? Nobody has lived the life that I've lived. Nobody knows what I've seen. Nobody knows what I've done. Nobody knows my nightmares. Nobody knows the cold sweats at three in the morning. So I, I'm not going to judge anyone else. Here, here's my thoughts on God is I don't know. I don't know. And anyone who says they do know is lying. Nobody knows. And the people who say that there is no God, they don't know. And the people who say there is a God, they don't know. And, and that is the issue because whether it's science or religion and, and say those are the two things that you believe and we don't even want to get into existentialism and other things. If you believe that it's either science or God and they cannot live harmoniously, that is a ridiculous notion. They are not in competition of each other. They're not antithetical to each other. And the things that science can't explain, you have to ask yourself about faith because science is faith. Science is ever-changing. And, and let's face it, so is religion. Can we be honest? 
because the religion from 150 years ago resembles nothing to the religion today. Oh, when you They're have like, no, of course not. When you have Catholic Church that can't keep the they keep yeah. modernizing stuff, right. and here we have a Pope right. who's I'm not gonna I don't I don't know exactly what he's doing, but it, it's like rumored that the Pope is allowing gay marriage. I don't know if I don't forever who's listening is gonna be yelling at the fucking speaker. I don't know if he's allowing gay marriage, but he's tolerant of it and all this shit. Um, that's a problem. If they should be, if they're going to be doing this, Catholic Church needs to go back and just give the mass in Latin. Everybody's got to speak Latin. Keep the standard. Make it three hours like it always was. And just, yeah, oh God, I want to go there. This is so ridiculous. But they keep changing stuff to appeal for people. If you have to change yeah. your structure to appeal for people, I think you, you're you're wrong. I think you're wrong on stuff. Well, you're changing your structure not to appeal. Well, th that's that's an ancillary benefit to the ultimate goal, which is to raise. Do money. not use okay. big words on this show. Whatever you know, you know what I'm saying. You're, you're, it's just something that's going to happen. It's a residual benefit. It's just going to happen by osmosis. It's going to happen naturally. You bring in more people, you get more money, and that's what these churches. You know what I love? I love that little church that is on 285 off 285 Turkey Creek Road in Colorado. If you're ever in Colorado, go up 285, go up the mountains, and go to Pine Junction. Take a left and go all the way down. When you get to the base of that mountain, you are going to see an S Snake River, like it, it's like Yellowstone two giant valleys of mountains, just beautiful Rockies. And there is this little church where I was married. It's got a gravel dirt road. It's a small church, Christian. Uh, you go in, there's wood paneling. There's an old organ in there. And the guy is in a freaking suit that is, is uh, you know, the old blue polyester with a black tie and white shirt. It looks like he just got done with some fried chicken and okra. And you walk in and they give you, the, they embrace you. And they don't care what you believe. They don't care what color you are. And there is just a, a sense of, of, of safety in that area. That is what a church should be. It should be community. It should be a place of worship where you can go when you're looking for communal worship, not when you're looking to go and throw money at somebody or listen to fire and brimstone. Churches have turned into essentially a giant grift. <sighs> and uh, it, yeah. it frustrates the shit out of me. Uh, yeah, I can't... I I think maybe it's my liberty. Maybe it's my, I don't know if it's, it's affecting a libertarian or I keep coming back to dude, you can't, you can't condemn anyone else. Cause you are a walking piece of shit. I look at these right. air, these air quote Christians online who are, are, we're called to rebuke one dude. It's, it's, it's insane. Uh, there was an idiot, um, Nino America, who's a fucktard. I used to have him on the show years ago. And he's this giant... Oh, yeah, I know, I know Nino. He likes a, my show. He follows my show. Fuck him. He's a piece of shit. He sat there because I said... Oh, dude, I can't stand him. because I can't stand anybody who says, I'm going to hell because of X, Y, Z. Years ago... He the, told you... Wait, wait. He told... Hold on. Slow oh, down. Oh, I'm not a real... Cr he I'm not a real you. Christian fucking going to hell. Uh, Why? George Floyd was killed. And I have defended certain issues about the George Floyd for fucking years, right? I'm just not a fan of what Chauvin did. I've done way too much content on that. When DMX died, um, Nino America was ranting and raving about how George Floyd was a piece of shit who's going to burn in hell and I'm because of what he did. And I'm going, this is not the Christian way. How the fuck do you know what George's or Floyd's relationship was like with Christ? Right, you don't know. Right. And just because DMX was public about his Christian faith doesn't mean shit. So I can't stand people like that. My view is, like with the, with, with the church that has these gay and lesbian flags outside of it, don't have it out there. But I am tolerant of if you had a gay porn star, a trans porn star, I don't give a shit who it is, who if they came and sat right fucking next to me, what am I going to be like? I'm a better Christian than you. I just, I do not understand. And that's the problem I have with this hardcore and the Stu Peters style of Christian faith right now, which is unless you think like our, I, our do, or we do, the hardcore stance, which is akin to the Muslim faith or practicing Islam, if you are not a real Christian, fuck you, you're going to hell. And I think if we do get in a civil war, a lot of a lot of people like me are going to be fucking offed because they consider me lukewarm because I'm tolerant of other people. Christians if oh, if these yeah, I'll be I'll be killed immediately. Yeah, if these if these if these hardcore Christians had their way, they would be going to drag shows and killing all these people. Now, I think they need to be collected up and put on a fuck border them off in California. I'm fine with that shit, but there is no sin 
that uh, stands that uh, uh, sinning against the Holy Spirit that I think God looks at me and goes, yeah, hey, all those married women you fucked, yeah, I'm going to forgive you for that. But this guy over here who danced for a couple kids at a drag show who was trying to find his way, who was lost and confused, and ultimately came back to me a few years ago, nah, fuck him, he's going to hell. I don't, I do not agree with that I, at all. I just can't, I can't get by. Yeah, it. I don't, I, I, I don't go there. Like, like, see, that's the thing I don't do. It's all, you're awful judgy for a Christian, right? I mean, so you, you, you're, you're automatically just way too judgy for me. I, I have marched in pride parades, surprisingly enough. I worked at Apple. I had to toe the line. And guess what? There was no guys with cocks and assless chaps and, and th- 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 give me a break. Were that, you disappointed? Very few and far, but you were disappointed. Uh, no, I was wearing my assless chaps. So I, was I would be, I here's why I don't ever want the guys with their cocks out. I would be so insecure because I'd be like, fucking mine is shrinking. <laughs> this is not fair. Well, it's, it's, it's either here or there. The point, the point is, is that I don't care. I, I really don't. I don't care what you do. When you get my kids involved, now I got a fucking problem with you. And, and, and I'm sorry. When you say, you know, transgender people doing drag, you know, drag shows in front of kids. No. Get that fucking shit away. And I don't that, want... No, I didn't condone that. I didn't condone that. I don't want I don't want, I don't want the Bible... I don't want the Bible fucking thumping Baptist in my, my kid's school either. Stay away. Your job in school is to do science, reading, arithmetic. That's your job. History. You're, you're not to teach my children anything without my consent when it comes to anything but those things. And if you want to talk about condoms and, and birth control and all that shit, you better be asking me because I'm having that conversation with my kid, but that's my job. Mm-hmm. My job is to, and you got to remember, I've been behind this Brandon Michon. He was the angry father who went up against LCPS. I went against LCPS. Uh, th- this whole thing with some of the books that they had in there that are showing gardeners, fucking six year old kids. No, no. And we don't allow cigarettes. We don't allow porn. We don't let them drive a car. We don't let them vote. Those things are okay. Nobody's saying that we're trying to, you know, censor children. They're kids. And there's no reason that that child at six years old or 10 years old should be talking about somebody's dick and whether they're a man or a woman or a fucking rainbow spotted unicorn. I, I no, just, I think, that's just yeah. my opinion. I'm, it's not wrong. It's I'm not opinion. behind that. I'm saying they should be removed. That's why I said send them off to California, fence the whole fucking thing off. But yeah, I agree with that. Roger. I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking, I just, I'm, I do have like, I have a, I have a, a, a very, it's so fucking balanced. I think that, I think that death needs to be given for those who follow here. Here's a real shitty analogy. The, the people who are caught on to catch a predator, right. Where they set up with a fake shit. Yeah. yeah. They haven't committed the crime yet. Right. They haven't committed. It's pre-crime. I don't want to go into the whole uh, 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 minority yeah, yeah. report I shit. I, I have I a hard time report, with that yeah. because we know that, oh, man, there, there's a good chance they're going to wind up committing that fucking crime. But they didn't do it yet. So I'm all about the point of I don't think that, especially when it comes to anything against kids, there's zero there's there's zero rehabilitation. Oh, yeah, there's no forgiveness. So, but I have a real time. fucking hard time of putting somebody to death for something they haven't done yet. But so when it comes to like uh, the drag queens dancing, it's I want them all shipped off to another fucking country. Go jack but each other off. But it's not where it there. starts, Dom. It starts so much earlier than that, right? Uh, guaranteed, there was some fondling of a child somewhere. There's there's they were probably fondled children. Yeah, they, they were they were abused. Well, right. Well, well that's. That's the that's the thing. That's where usually most of it starts. And like alcoholism and other things, it's it's it, it can pass down, but it doesn't matter. The point is this: if you're an alcoholic and your dad was an alcoholic, his grandfather, and you go kill a family of six, you're going to fucking jail for the rest of your life if you live. I don't care if it's passed down or not. You touch a kid, um, you may not have that person on that crime right there, but you can go and look at the rest of the things that they've done, and I guarantee. I promise you, there is a, a litany of shit that that person has done. It's how there's that warning signs is the legality. Yeah, there's warning signs. Huh? 100%. There's warning signs. Yeah, absolutely warning signs. Yeah, you you do it once. Uh, you know what? You go to jail. You serve your time. You go through your rehabilitation. Whatever you need to do. You do it again. You're castrated. You're fed. your nuts. Oh no! I, have, any um, yeah, if I had emperor staff of the world, any uh, any rape whatsoever would be immediate castration. Immediate. Yeah. yeah people well, can't, you, you know, yeah. you got to do something. You got to do something. This took this is a dark turn today. I know. I just think it's a conversation that people are afraid to have. Like people, we're not. Like there's gonna be people who are. There's people who have. Well, that's because okay. There's a difference. It's because balls. I think you have an open mind. You can talk about something without. Okay. Wait a second. All right. What do you hear? 
I'm just gonna I'm gonna put this up on the screen, and let's close okay. out talking about this because uh, this is a real issue. Um, I I I've never attended the uh, Special Olympics, but I like uh, any any kind of strong man um, stuff at all here. Let's look at this. This is. Big Ben did an amazing special Olympics powerlifting this weekend. He smoked 300 pounds and put on a hell of a show. Here's my question. If Big Ben were in a uh, sanctioned event, like men who go into women's events, yeah, is that yeah. fair? Because he's got retard strength. Oh, listen! I, I, Send I your angry emails to Chelsea at Spreely.com. Yeah, you can't. You that's bullshit. You, that's not. That's not. A, that's not a fair comparison. He's competing against people just like him. If I said if he identified, oh, well, I don't do could, ifs. If oh, my here's the horrible had balls, thing: she would be my grandfather. If uh, if if if, if Big Ben said I identify as normal. Or having the right amount. Oh yeah. Of okay, I see what you're saying. Oh, yeah, this is gonna ridiculous. get me so in trouble, and I really don't care. Why? Why would it? Don't because know. that's a great comparison. I think you're about saying, it. Big Ben's hey, like, I'm normal. He yeah. goes in. He's got the strength of fucking twelve gorillas, and people are like, really? Fucking really? Yeah. I'm on all this juice, and you just pull that up like nothing. I don't know. Well, what? what let's reverse it. Yeah. What if a, uh, you know, a 25 year old kid who's six seven. <laughs> Uh, and you know, and 240 goes in and lifts in the Special Olympics, and he says, "Hey, man, I I, I diagnose myself as, you know, or, or I I see myself as retarded." I I don't I think that would handicap. be an uproar, but if somebody wanted to go in there and they were you know special ed, and they you, do you remember calling people a sped when you were kids? Uh, no, I, I I was uh, I was on the short bus, so no. <laughs> fucking I'll never. I think I was in third grade first time. Someone, Shut up, sped. I'm like, what the hell is that sped special? Ed? I'm like, oh my. I know. I laughed kids, for an yeah, hour. Kids are dicks. Hour. Kids are dicks. I was like, that is the funniest damn thing I've ever heard. A sped. I was the picked on one, dude. I was five two and two two like two forty five for most of my high school. Yeah. I was short. And I was fat, and then now I'm six four two twenty five. Worked my ass off, but yeah, trust me, man. There were some punishments those days, and. You know, I went to the military and became a jock, but I certainly wasn't in high school. I think we're all screwed. This Yellowstone needs to blow. That's all I know. Kids, it's Monday. Thanks for bearing with us. I guess Mercury Retrograde is lasting until the 24th. So if you have problems with your electrics, electric uh, stuff, that's what's going on. It's Our, our internet signal has been shit for the last uh, five shows. See you guys tomorrow uh, to make up for Friday. Um, Kayla from Flex Your Feminist sitting in tomorrow. Tomorrow we're doing the part two of Revelations, and she'll also be joining me on Friday again. And we got I got to talk to Lola. Lola's coming back. She says she's coming back on Thursday, so we'll see. We'll see if Miss Diva Queen herself uh, is going to put up with that shit. I don't know. All right, the Dumb Show. Where can people consume that? Uh, at thedumbshow.com across social media. You can go to thedumbshow.com with no B. You can go to the dumbnews.com and go to the dumbclub.com and the dumbstore.com. We got it all now. We're 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 growing and getting bigger and it's great. Hey, can I we got we got two minutes. Can I ask a like a 30 second minutes. question? You, you literally got like 40 seconds. Go. How's the burn pit, man? And you know, uh, Matt over there. Uh, he seems like seems like dude, that guy seems like he fucking eats four by four. And I uh I, I want to go on the burn pit. I, I will connect ask, you with them. They are that... phenomenal. I will connect you with them. I don't know if him and I will get along, though. You think yes, we'll the, really get along? Yes, you will, because they're both intelligent and have conversations like that. That would be a great... Oh, uh, cool. Then I'll, I'll uh, I happen. can't wait to go on. I, Guys, have a right. great damn day. Go help somebody today. If you can't help them, don't hurt them. And fuck everything else. See you guys. See you, buddy.